five is thought to be the, on the only goal, the sole goal, of career choices such as being a firefighter and being a doctor. However, we do not need countless number of hours training or prestigious degrees to save a life. Becoming an organ donor, by becoming an organ donor, you too can save a life. I'm interested in becoming an organ donor, and this is why I researched this topic and spent countless numbers, numerous hours researching it and reading stories of how organ donation has helped the lives of many individuals. Donors are needed. They are in high demand. Therefore, we will now take a look at a graph displaying the factual statistics of the need. This is a graph displaying the bar graph displays the number of donors and transplants. And the line graph above here is the number of donors on the waiting list. So as you see, there is a huge difference. This is the need and this is what we have. And this is according by years. So the last one is 2008 to 2009. So this data is pretty recent and it's still the same in these years. <coughs> Now examine the need for organs. Now I will tell you examples of people whose lives have been saved by an organ donation from someone. Sarah Webb, a journalist from Current Health 2, weekly, a weekly reader publication from, that I obtained from Yale Opposing Viewpoints, wrote an article titled, A Gift That Keeps On Giving, Organ Donation Brings a New Lease on Life. She tells of a little boy named Ashton who was born with a just with a digestive disorder. Childhood, as we all know, is a time for fun, to have fun and to be happy. Ashton, however, was a special case. He had to trip, he had to be fed by feeding tube, and he had to carry a backpack that handled waste. When Ashton was six, he, um, he got his first transplant. But when he was 11, he got sick again. Finally, the transformation. When he was Ashton was 13, he received new digestive organs. He received a new stomach, a new pancreas, a new liver, and a small intestine. A majority of his childhood was spent being sick. But now Ashton, 17, enjoys playing basketball and he is enjoying learning to drive, as we all had the pleasure of doing. Ashton can now enjoy high school activities like going to prom, going to graduation, playing back baseball. The organ donated <coughs> saved his life. Ashton is able to enjoy his life due to an organ donor. The following story of a teenager named Colby will provide a descriptive visual aid of how being an organ donor can leave a memorable legacy that can change lives. Jane E. Brody of the New York Times wrote an article titled out of grief sprouts a life-saving legacy. This story is about a 15-year-old girl who tragically died in a car accident. And before she passed away, she told her mom that she wanted to become an organ donor when she got her driver's license. So when she was, when the mother was asked um, whether the donate, she wanted the organs to be donated, she said there, there was no hesitancy. Seven people received COVID organs. One of them, Valerie Vanderbilt, a 29-year-old Oklahoma woman with cystic fibrosis, received Colby's lungs. Since then, she has ran three 5K races, climbed or hiked a mountain, danced at her sister's wedding, and had won a medal in swimming. Also, Colby's heart went to a lady named Judy Judy. Her heart was, she, she had a congestive heart failure. And Judy had met Mrs. Um, Mrs. Old Lucy, which is Colby's mom. And the mother, she listened to her daughter's heart beating in someone else's chest. That gave her reassurance, knowing that her organs were in good use and they were still working. 
Now, I will describe the who, what, where, and how of organ donation. Who? Who can donate? Anyone who is over the age of 18, people under the age of 18 have to have a legal or guardian consent. What can be donated? Tissues such as cornea, bone marrow, skin connective tissue, and heart valves. Organs including kidneys, heart, pancreas, intestine, and lung and liver. Why donate? 18 people die each day in the United States waiting for an organ transplant. I encourage you to visit donatelife-pa.org. This has many, this website is the place to go to find what what the organization's about, what what goes on when you want to organ donate organs and how you do it. One of the ways is you can sign up online actually, or you can when you renew your driver's license, you can check the box for organ donation and the word organ donor will be displayed under your picture. Thank you for listening. Thank you.